So now we describe the circular motion of charge in the uniform magnetic field. So 4.3 C. How we can determine the motion of charge moving in magnetic field only? Okay. We consider a charged particle moving in uniform magnetic field with a velocity perpendicular to the magnetic field. So as you can see in this diagram, for example, you can see that the direction of B is out of pitch. Means that out from your pitch, out your, uh, from your paper. And then as the particle enter the region, so particle negative means that the charge negative enter the region of B here. So the direction of V is to the right. So what what happened to this charge? They will experience a magnetic force, which are a force is perpendicular to the velocity. So as you can see that when the B is out of pitch and the velocity is cut off V, B, V is cut off V in 90 degree. So they will experience force to the 90 degree by using Fleming hand rule. So FB is towards downward. Hence the direction of its velocity changed but the magnetic force remain perpendicular to the velocity. So when when we want to to know which which path of the charge will move, they akan keluar daripada dua resultant ni. Here is FB right? So FB dengan V. So they akan keluar path between this. So now the charge will experience the velocity downward. So you can use the Fleming left hand rule, sorry, Fleming right hand rule to determine the direction of FB. So you can see that the direction of FB is to the left. Okay, and then the charge will move to the path between these two, these two vector, like this. And then here is negative charge, then will move to the left. Okay, so by using Fleming left hand rule, you can see that the direction and Fleming right hand rule, sorry, Fleming right hand rule, you can see that the direction of FB is upward. And then they can move lagi. Okay, sampai sini. For example, kita nak tahu kan. Okay, velocity dia akan ke atas. And then FB akan ke kanan. So, it complete the circular motion. Means that move in circular. So, as the magnetic force FB make the path of the particle in circular, so you can see that the figure show you, ada empat figure kat sini, so you boleh pilih yang mana you suka. Okay, so kita just nak provekan balik, adakah path tu akan bentuk dalam keadaan circle. Okay, since the path is a circle, therefore the magnetic force FP contribute the centripetal force or we can say, uh, we can say that net force on this motion. So, awak nampak dekat center ni. Okay, center ni sebenarnya adalah FC. Macam you belajar chapter circular motion dulu. So, yang towards pada FC adalah magnetic force iaitu FB. So, kat sini dia boleh bagi tahulah di mana FB is equal to FC. So, kita terangkan FB sama dengan QVB sin theta. So, is equal to centripetal force is mv squared over r. So, rearrange the equation because sin theta always 90 degree for this case. Untuk dapatkan motion dalam sekular, angle dia mesti 90 darjah. Okay. So, we can write the formula is R is equal to MV over BQ. So, magnitude of the charged particle, sometimes kita guna um, uh, electron or proton. So, you boleh tulis 1.6 kali 10 negative 19. So, R is the radius of the circular path. V is the magnitude of the velocity and M is the mass of the charged particles. Depend. Sama ada you bagi you particle, you bagi you electron, you bagi you proton. So, you bergantung kepada mass yang di Beri. Alright, so next the period of the circular motion. So the period of the circular motion T is one complete cycle. So one complete cycle given by V is equal to R omega. We con we substitute omega is equal to two pi over T. So T we arrange equation you get this one. And then finally substitute R yang kita dah derive tadi dekat sini. Okay. Okay, so you masuk ke dalam ni, you akan dapatlah T is equal to 2 pi M over BQ. Okay, let's say if let's say lah dia cakap dia nak uh, half circular. So, what the what the time to make uh, semi circular? So, maksudnya period adalah satu complete cycle. Kalau dia nak half circular, so maksudnya 
period uh, bukan period time dia adalah sama dengan setengah period okay so you kena tahulah and then frequency as you know that the normal frequency always equal to 1 over period